So this is my Galaxy S3, and I have just factory reset it. So this is a guide if you just have bought a phone, and basically just want to, um, you know, make sure everything works. Don't want to put a SIM in or anything. So, see I have no SIM. Um, just kind of want to see. Now this is the Verizon S3. Here, let me put the back on right here. So, uh, sorry about the bad picture here. But, um, and whatever. Okay, so basically, it may take a bit to turn on. But I will show you how to bypass this. Um, because there are no on screen options or anything. And there are a few techniques that I've seen online. Um, there's one where you like press the volume button, uh, the volume up button once, volume down twice, volume up three times, etc. But this is the only one that works um, that I've found out. So here, you don't really have any um, options. You can do an emergency call. Next, say it doesn't do anything, you just have this option to turn off your phone. So, then just check, you go, you have to go into the, um, oh, oh no, oh sorry, see, okay, once you go into here, you can't, so, you can't go back, so, you have to turn off your phone, sorry about that, <laughs> it'll turn off, then it should reboot in a bit, okay, so it's off. Hold the power button until it vibrates. It shouldn't take too long to start up because there's nothing on it really. Um, yeah, so this is for the Verizon Galaxy S3. Um, as you can see with the LTE and stuff. Um, so yeah, let's just wait for this to boot up. Okay, so you have to be in this screen, select your language, then you press the bottom left hand of the corner, right hand, left hand, right hand, and then volume up buttons really fast. And then, voila, it brings you to your screen. So you can use the phone as normal. You know, you've got a lot of... So yeah, um, that's how to get past the um, SIM initialization screen.